Good morning. Well, actually, it's it's afternoon now in 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 the Netherlands. How are you? I'm very good. Very good too. Thank you. How are you? So, I'm I'm really great. Uh, I'm we're I I think all three of us are in a class called Access Consciousness Global Foundation at the moment. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. And basically, how come I'm talking about this on an Access X Men? Um, what is business to an X Men on a Facebook Live? Is that X Men are energetic beings um, that actually, I'm going to say, have a body. And so often in this world, they're the people that are the creators, the dreamers. Uh, they are the people that create beautiful artwork, beautiful products. And so often they're the people that believe that they're most wrong. And one of the things that led me to knowing that I was an X-Men was first of all, I did a class called Access Consciousness Foundation, mm -hmm. which was literally like shattering the bedrock of who I, I had defined myself as instead of, <laughs> I would say what I actually am. So, X-Men are these wild people who love to live. Let's start there. And so one of the things with me, today's conversation is about what is business for an X-Men. So what I'm going to talk to you guys is what did you think business was, you know? And since you've started to nurture your own reality, what is it now to you? I can go. Go for it. Like for me, actually, like if I be like 100% honest, like for me, like business was getting like perfect, like getting everything in my life, like perfect and everything is right. Like, and I actually, I tried it all. Like I was just like listening to some like gurus, like on like, I, I don't know, YouTube. And they were just like talking about like waking up at five, like eating like a sort of food, like eating like, uh, like, I don't know, like, um, doing like certain things in every day and I, I just like try it and like in the end I, I it was not like working it was not like working the way I thought it would like I was in the medical school and I was waking up at 5 a.m and like uh, just like doing some exercise and like eating some things and then like I was just like I'm gonna work and it's gonna like if I do everything right in the end I'm gonna get like a good result and like for me, like, and, and when the end result come, like actually it was like, not like even like uh, close to good. <laughs> I was just like, what is this? Like, uh, and for a long time, I was just like looking like everybody around me to find like what is true for me, like until I actually like come across to access consciousness tools. And like, and for me, like finding the tools of access consciousness was like such a relief because like, I was just like always in a constant state of like judgment of me about like what I was not doing right and like how wrong I was and like how the things wasn't working. And like when I just like find the tools of access consciousness and actually it was like asking me like what is true for me. And actually I can, I just like realized I can really enjoy my life and that that is and that's actually the one of the greatest invitation I can be like really choosing for me and choosing like what works for me what works for my body and like really what makes me happy and like that that just like as I go like in the especially I can say like in the last like couple of months I just realized like when I really choose like what works for me and what makes me happy that's like what expanded my life and like that's yeah been like an invitation or like a greater possibility in that. and it's just like keep growing so yeah I'm just like um yeah that, that's for me I can say <laughs> I love that I love that Liz well <laughs> I mean I had so many associations with business like I, it was it was something that I did not like I just was like did not want to be a part of it was all just heavy and like to be honest like until I came to access I mean I've been self-employed for like most of my life, I was a yoga teacher, massage therapist, but 
until I actually came into access, I didn't even acknowledge that I even had a business. I didn't actually consider it a business because business was like such an ugly, <laughs> an ugly thing to me. It was just like, oh, it was just, oh, I just do this thing and people give me money. And it was like, but it's not, it's not a business. I'm not a business person. So like for me, like to actually, number one, just acknowledge that actually I have a business and that business actually could be something fun, like in a contribution to my life and to other people. Like that was something totally new. Like, and then I was like, oh, okay. If like now I, I'm willing to have a business and see it as a business and actually, oh, like to, to be honest, I wasn't even willing to like nurture my business because like I, like I wasn't like I wasn't willing to acknowledge it I wasn't willing to nurture it it was more just kind of like <laughs> yeah 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 I'll just go out there and do my thing and then like oh, please let this please yeah, let yeah. this work you know yeah, just yeah. somebody let me do my thing and, and and just like make a bit of money and you know and get on with life you know and mm -hmm. it wasn't until yeah until I really started to look at oh and also too that I actually had a, a talent or a capacity for it like I just thought I'd yeah, I didn't even want to look at that. And then now that I have, and now that I do, I actually started to be able to acknowledge, especially with the X-Men stuff, like capacities that I have in a contribution that I can be um, way beyond what I thought it could be. <laughs> totally, totally, totally. And so that leads me to look at, for me, when I did my first, I'm a joy business facilitator. And when I did my first joy business class, I asked myself why am I here like why did I even come to this <laughs> is this relevant for me and it was you know and one of the things that I'm so grateful for is that what I now recognize was business done from this reality done from the definition of transaction this then this then this from definition this is the way it has to be you do it on Monday at 9 a.m to 5 p.m and then you don't do anything from Friday to so what I now recognize 10 years later are actually about maybe nine years later from when I did my first joy business class is business for me has always about a space where I'm challenged to grow and develop and it has always been where I'm in my talents and capacities, looking at what I would like to create that's going to create greater in our world. And for me, I cannot work for, I'll do this for two hours or, you know, I just, it just, I tried it and I like, I was like, you know, somebody kill me. So the other thing for me is it has to be, there has to be a trust in myself and in what I create that's paramount for me to actually really trust that what I'm creating here is something different and that I'm going to have to establish and I want to say what's the word I'm looking for I'm going to have to resuscitate and establish my reality whatever that looks like for me so and then of course like people coming together functioning with each other having fun looking at what they would create you know and it's been a trip and it continues to be a trip. And right now I'm looking at what's next. And to be honest, I know something is something bigger is looking to be created again. And this is where I sit back and I talk to it and I'm like, OK, there's something greater looking to be created again. What is that? So the way that we function from business, if you're an X-Men, what's an X-Men? The weirdos of the world the ones that came here to create a greater future for humanity. I know I'm weird. I know I'm different. And um, I know that there'll be moments that I think I'm wrong. And one of the things that I do know is that when I follow my inner gut, whatever you want to call it, your intuition, your knowing, we call it an access consciousness. And when I keep showing up, despite my old points of views that I've been entrained with or bought from a cultural point of view, things always become greater. That's the strange thing about consciousness, you know? Everything becomes greater all of the time. And once you choose to nurture your reality, and I suppose, you know, one of the things that I'm really proud about is like, well, we talk about living your best life. My eldest daughter has been talking about this for years. Live your best life, mom, live your best life. And it's a great thing to drop, isn't it? Oh yeah, live your best life, you know? Are, are you actually worth 
for you to live your best life, you know, to really prioritize what are the elements of of what are the elements by which you would like to live? What are the elements by which you look to generate your life? And man, sometimes I can be a total unconscious idiot, you know. <laughs> totally. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> I didn't yeah. know I was this unconscious. I was like, whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your sound is a bit like, but I can hear you, but your sound is a little bit wobbly, just so you know. Um, so basically what we're talking about here is reaching for consciousness in business, reaching for gratitude, allowance, reaching for being aware of where the other person is functioning from, what the other person requires, what's going to work for them, you know. And for me as an entrepreneur, the... Um, the movement into knowing my worth and not having it not having it subject to something outside of me a result or a figure in my bank account has been I'm, I'm going to say has been a really challenging journey you know because we tend to put our worth our we tend for our job to define us or the amount of money or our relationship or where we live and one of the things that I've become so much more happier is that I can't define myself anymore. I create, I move, I create, I move. And what, what, what I love is getting satisfaction from what you deliver into the, into the world. I think yeah. that's the, I think that actually, I think that's the big thing for me. Does this satisfy me? Yeah. And like, also like what having your reality in business I think like for most of us it's like we have such a definition of what business is that's like we don't even want to go there because it's has nothing to do with who we be but like we can actually nothing nothing what so like I like I'm so glad that you said this because when I looked at business I was like it was an asshole in a suit who was trying to have power over and say how important he was to the little blonde innocent 20 year old you know what I mean yeah. so for me it was like when I started to recognize that I know shit like I know shit about people and um, and when I started to recognize that I had a very different reality in regard to business it was then that it could come together as such and I'm so grateful that you said this so if you're watching this and you're like, I don't even know what my reality is in business. I just know I require money to pay my rent and I go and I do this job and I get this thing called money. And for now, it's not exactly satisfying me or light me up or I don't reflect on it as something that's a gift to me. It's OK. It's OK. I didn't I didn't know that 10 years ago. In fact, I thought I was wrong at everything and that I was shit at business and 10 years on, you know, we all generate and create together. Things are growing and moving and changing and growing and moving and changing. And what if you always, I would say the big thing that I would love people to get to is that when you trust yourself to know that you are capable of generating business money, that it's like you're the one that like, the business doesn't create the money. It's your capacities to actualize and put things in place is what creates the money. And so this is one of the things you've actually got to be willing to actualize your reality. Because if you don't actualize your reality, by, by goodness me, we live in a world that there are so much realities of control, power over, force, you know, that you will have to fit into a reality and you will get lost in someone else's reality. And for me, that that hurt, that was painful. It's such an honoring of who you are because like when you allow yourself to to be you in business and then honoring you like by way being willing to receive money for that, like it's... Yeah. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, um, I've come up with these lovely seven pillars um, or cornerstones of business. And they're a lovely guide like to put up in your office and look, take a look at like what it is for you, you know. Um, and not only it's so funny when you change your reality with business, 
not only does it impact your reality, it like it impacts everyone else's reality, you know. And um, this is like a little video from my son. It's so cute. Um, he's in Donegal, which is the north of Ireland. And one of his dreams was to become a football coach. And guess what? He's a football coach. And he this was something that nobody else had modeled for him. This was something that he had to reach for himself. So not only do your like your choices don't only not only impact today, but they impact everyone around you, because when you choose to have the greatness of your reality, then you will invite other people to the greatness and the goodness of that and the value of that. For me, I have to say it's priceless. It's it's priceless to know that I don't have to be controlled by anyone in the way that I can generate money. And like, like with these classes, I need really like. I hope my sound is good. Please let me know if it's not good. So we can uh, hear you now. Okay. So yeah, and I get like for me, like the biggest part is like, uh, like actually these tools that like uh, it works and like in this reality, like they don't teach you like how like what is your reality, like with business, like and how you can actually generate and create your life and. Like for me, like it's like the finding my reality. It's just like the ongoing journey. And one of the things that I'm really grateful about, like actually I have the tools now in my life that allow me to create like what I would like to create. And actually they are working. So yeah, say it again. They are working. Yeah. And that's for me is like very, very valuable. And yeah, like, and this class, like, coming up with, with you, like, x man in business, like, calling out dreamers, like, I get, like, our reality is, like, so different, and, like, in this, like, in this reality, or, like, in the society, like, people, like, can dismiss, like, so quickly, and so, like, for me, it's just, like, this class is just such a gift to actually like validate your reality or even like look at acknowledge okay, acknowledge like what is your reality and I get and it was for me like when I actually start to acknowledge like what is my reality and actually ask for that to show up like my whole life start to change mm. so yeah. yeah yeah I'm I'm really excited about like the like what what is possible in this like three days and like what we can discover and how much fun we can have yeah yeah and come join us if you're really if you're if you're if you are a dreamer like don't give up your dream you know yeah. one of the things something to ponder you know Simone says this in the business done different class something to ponder is like what are you doing your job for it's not if it's not something that doesn't actually is enjoyable for you like you you actually have another choice you really do and how does it get any better than this beautiful thanks for being here guys thank you thank you it was a beautiful conversation and it was so good to listen as well so, yeah x-men in business guess what um 13 months ago i chose to be a three-day body facilitator an access consciousness three-day body facilitator and you two were massive part of that massive part of that and i pretty sure you did the numbers last night and i facilitated 24 three-day body classes in year okay from i think it's 24 pretty sure it could, yeah and that i'm gonna acknowledge it the way that that was created is nothing short of miraculous to be able to go to brazil san francisco and um, where else did i go egypt saudi arabia and um, kuwait <laughs> germany <laughs> turkey Netherlands, Denmark. Uh, Denmark, UK, UK, I love the UK, to be able to go all over, like 24 workshops, like who does that with a brand new license? And that's the magic of Ask and Receive. And it's, it's, it's not just for Rachel O'Brien, our Liz, our Troy, it is actually available. There's one clause, you got to choose it though. Mm. Beautiful. Thanks for your time. What else is possible beyond anything we've ever known? Ask a question. It always invites more magic and more possibility. Thanks, guys.
Yeah, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.